Welcome back. If you're new, please subscribe. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up for me. It's March the 22nd of 2019. It's been 13 weeks since we got started with the European night crawlers. Nine weeks since they've been in the urban worm bag. And 10 weeks on the cocoon only bin with 100 cocoons. Let's take a look. I have not messed with these guys since last Friday. It looks like they have been working away. A few worms just scattered out. Lots of castings mixed in with the shredded cardboard. There's a little tiny, tiny, tiny. Probably just a few days old. There's another. So that's a good sign. Seeing new, new worms in here. Look at there. I'm going to say that is my African Nightcrawler from a couple weeks ago. I'm going to go ahead and throw that in the vermi bag. How it got in there, I don't know. Definitely a difference in that European Nightcrawler for sure. Just going to Gonna turn this around a little bit. Not gonna dig down deep, just kind of mix this top up. A little aeration. Moisture feels good. Would like to see a few cocoons. The Europeans are usually pretty easy to spot because they're usually bright green. That's a young one it's starting to get some size to it. I'm not believing I haven't seen a cocoon yet. Hmm. Got some worms though. They look like they're doing good. Some, some of them got some size to them. Mm, that one's feisty. He said, Don't touch me. Hmm. All right, well. Like they're doing good. Probably definitely need to get some food in here. Let's see what we got. There's a cocoon. And I just dropped it. And I'll probably never find it again. Hmm. Well, I found one cocoon and it was kind of red, so I doubt you could see it on camera. So I was trying to bring it up close. Anyways. Let's check in in our cocoon only bin here. There's still one cocoon there. I'm not sure why some of them haven't hatched yet. There's a little young worm there. Getting some size to them. Three more over there. A couple more. There's a, the smallest one in here probably. Oh yeah, several, several babies. 
making some castings of their own. Alright, so there's a good couple dozen anyways. It's been a chore keeping this thing moist. I've been checking in on it every couple days because just cardboard and paper towels dry out rather quickly. But they look like they're doing good. I think next week I'll have to count these. I think they're big enough now that I could count them. See how many we got. So I know I had quite a few comments when I first started this on how many worms people thought we'd get out of a hundred cocoons. So if you're new or you didn't comment Go ahead and comment. Let me know how many you think we'll get. And I will count them next week. Grab some food and I'll be right back. I got a mixture of banana peels, celery that was limp, and some eggshells all blended up. See how they like that. It's kind of well, there's the base of the celery there. It didn't get blended up. So I'm kind of cover that up. Just kind of mix this stuff in there a little bit. Just kind of spread it out and let it break down and let them eat. Still working on getting a shredder so I don't have any bedding to put on top but I think that'll be alright. I think I'll go ahead and add some coffee grounds too because we didn't feed them last week so I'll make sure they got plenty of food this week just kind of spread these filters out on top see if they uh, get into them or not I'll go with four that ought to work Leave that one folded, see if they get inside it. All right. Thanks for watching. Please hit that thumbs up for me. Leave me a comment. Until next time, have a great day.